Oh, Jay, you supposed to sit back. <laughs> you supposed to sit back. Have a headache. I did this. You tried that. You copy me. That's my sweat. That's my style. Give it back. Three words. I said trick. Hey creeps, and welcome back to my channel. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? <laughs> Why do I do that now? Anyway, um, I want to thank y'all so much for returning back to my channel. Um, you guys have been hitting me up about the movie nights. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm like, girl, damn. I thought y'all wanted, you know, variety of stuff. I was trying to vlog. I was trying to do Mitzi Monday. I was trying to do movie nights. I was trying to do this. And they all was like, you want another movie night? Anyway, get your boyfriend, get your girlfriend, get your lover, get whoever. Get your weed, get your bean, get your zen, get your lean. And um, let's get ready to watch this movie, okay? Y'all done sent this in. It better be good. If it's not, I'm going to hit you because it's Christmas. It's supposed to say Christmas theme. But we're gonna go with this. Okay, like this video, subscribe, turn my notification bell on so you know when I post a video. Shouts out to you, I love you. Yeah, let's watch this movie. All right, I hope this is good, girl. Okay. Is anybody gonna talk? Does he have friends? What's going on? Uh, this is stressing me out. Child, I'm not like him. I don't just wanna hear sounds. Guide me home, please. Hi. The longest damn opener. Thanks. Could have said you're welcome, Rude. Excuse me. Got me sleepy already.
Oh, don't throw it out the building. Oh, I got it now. Oh, that's that cologne everybody use. <laughs> Look at how he wants to smell good. Taking her bottle of wine, she broke up with him. He did something. Hi. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Dinner. When was the last time you saw your brother? Why does that matter? It was a long time ago. Have you spoken to him at all? No. Get to the point, I'm confused. I saw him Christmas. Two years ago. I drove by the flat at it himself. I did what he did all day. He slept a lot. He said he liked to cycle around. <laughs> Why was his shoulders going like that? <laughs> He did. Well, he can't be dead. He right there. He must have traveled there for a new life or something.
Sri Sena. Oh, he don't even need that medicine. I think he just began it just to go talk to her. Baby, we need to move on. <laughs> Ain't nothing you can do, sis. Oh, Jay, you supposed to sit back. <laughs> you supposed to sit back. Have a headache. energy into a person, that's not good, honey. Not like that. You get up. David was found three months after he died. His body was decomposed. No fluid left inside of him. His features were unrecognizable. Wait. I can appreciate how difficult this can be. No valuables were found in his flat. No letters, birth certificate, passport. Can you just say he died? Tony. David was cremated five months ago in a crematorium in Enfield. In case you wanted to visit. I found out David visited the church last year. I needed to know there was someone out there for him. Sometimes we think we know someone. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't. Perhaps you should go. They found this in his flat. The card's full. Random conversations, secret recordings, people he came into contact with. David's on there too. He was a prostitute. Mm. I didn't know that. I'm ashamed. He was 
my baby brother. really good you guys um this is actually really good i feel um sometimes we get so caught up in wanting something be it a person a job money whatever it is that we just get tunnel vision on that and trying to get it and we forget to focus on ourselves, our well-being are we happy time for us and People get lost. That's why I feel like, you know, sometimes you'll get depressed because if what you want ain't happening fast enough or the person you want ain't paying you no attention or the money you desire isn't coming, you're so focused on that that you just forget, like, I do have friends. Because she said he had friends. He had family. He had this. But he wanted to go to London and pursue this London boy life and get this girlfriend. But the girlfriend didn't want him. He left all his friends. And now he's lonely. And... We just get caught up in wants and materialistic things and stuff that's really not important when just loving what you have right now is enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, you know, be comfortable or get stuck in whatever it is you're in. Like, I want more. But right now, what I have is just enough. This is what I'm supposed to have. That when they say, is your cup half empty or half full, my cup is just enough. And when I decide to pour more in my cup or God flows more in my cup, that's going to be the amount I'm supposed to have. Um, so we got to stop thinking like everything's supposed to happen right then or right when you want it because it's not. And then you just start getting overwhelmed with stress and loneliness and depression. And what people don't understand is we cause these things on us. It's, it's the way we're thinking, our process of stuff. Um... I don't know. I just really, I mean, I loved it. It was kind of slow, but it got there. I wish it was a little bit more talking, but it got there. It, it, you, you had to focus on him and what he was doing. And like, he appreciated people's conversations, seeing people, what they had. Like, like to me, I took the conversations of watching other people as kind of what he wanted. He was val He was admiring what they had you know what i'm saying and he was going to church for that love that comfort he was going into the coffee place just to hear other people talk um because he was just lonely and then like what also got me is that you know when you see him he was a an attractive guy and he seemed very sweet very happy every time you came in contact with him like the way he approached the woman you know what i'm saying so it was like you're thinking oh this guy's just happy he's doing this he got a good job boom 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 and come to find out the most handsome guy who seemed so happy was the loneliest. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's always best to check up on your people. Check up on your friends. Make sure they're doing good. Not just on birthdays or holidays. You know what I'm saying? But just every day randomly. How are you? Are you good? Are you okay? Because everybody needs that reassurance that someone is there. You know? Because you never know what somebody is going through. Like, I don't know. Like, he, it was just great how he found joy in, like, bicycling and going into the coffee shops. Just the little things in life. But what he really longed for was just love and happiness. And, I mean, that's what everybody longs for. Just, you know, that, that love, that peace. And what we don't understand is 
Peace is actually already within you. You don't need someone else to bring you peace. You don't need someone else to bring you happiness. Um, when you meet somebody, they're supposed to just add on to what you already have. Um, so, oh, it just, oh, this, this really touched me. But I understand it because he was a foster child. You know what I'm saying? And to feel like you don't have a family, and I feel like he was searching for like that family. And like the sister to not even reach out to ask him, is he good? And you already knew that what he was already going through, what his life was already like growing up. And it's just uh, sometimes people can know what you've been through and what you've gone through and what you've overcome and still not even ask you, are you OK? Just because they're doing fine. I don't know. I just. Oh, this movie! And what I got, also got from like the cycling and the things he was doing, it was like a routine. Sometimes get yourself out of that routine habit. Break that habit and do something different. You never know doing something different might lead you another way. You know what I'm saying? Might run you into another person. But because you kept, you know, cycling, which you got joy from, going to the coffee shop, going to the church, and then trying to get that girl. It was just like, it was clockwork. Just every day, every day, the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. And that could just, that can drown you. So um, sometimes just try something new. Deep, dig deep in yourself and... Get yourself out of that rut and do something different, you know? I know it's sometimes it's hard for some of us because we're introverts or we're shy or we're not people. Or we're not a people person, but if, if, if you are a loner, go somewhere else by yourself. You know, I, it's just hard. It, it is hard, but it's possible. Um, so to anybody struggling, I just, I, I pray that you find your inner peace and your inner happiness and your worth in this world. Because we're all, we, we are all worth something and we're all worth it to be here. Um, it's just, sometimes we gotta get out of our own self's way so we can do what our self needs to do. Okay, to anybody who was out there and you're lonely, um, talk to somebody, get a friend. You don't, you know what I'm saying? It could be a cousin, a stranger. Sometimes people that we don't even know sitting on the bench could be the person we needed at that moment. Um, but don't think you're alone. You're never alone. There's always somebody out there that's willing to listen to you. All right, you guys, thank you. God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. And until then, cue the music. <laughs>